This video shows you two methods to compute Mon gauge balance using the BA2 plus calculator. This is the question. John bought a 500k house with 20% down payment. He was able to log into 5.5% fixed rate for 30 years loan. What will be the principal balance after two years? So this type of, for this type of question, the most important is to calculate the monthly payment first. 20% down payment means that he has to borrow 80% of the value of the house. So it will be 400k. Then what will be the monthly payment? Using the BA2 plus calculator, we can just key in the following data. The first thing is present value. Because now they bought, he borrowed 400k, so this is a cash inflow of 400k. And then this is a 30 years loan, so, but he have to pay it monthly. So it is a 360 uh, period. And for the interest rate, it is 5.5% a year. But for every month, it is 5.5 divided by 12. So it will be 0 0.458. The future value, of course, will be zero. So think of this. This is a cash flow problem. Presence value, 400k inflows. And then every month, you have a payment, which is outflows. We have to calculate this payment. But after 360 months, the total value should be zero. That's why future value is zero. So to calculate this, just key in the numbers and press the corresponding function buttons. For example, for the presence value, you key in 400k and then press PV. And similarly for N, I over Y and FV. And after that, to compute the payment, you just press CPT compute and then payment. Then it will give you minus 2,271. Now, this is negative. Why? Because this is a cash outflow. This is opposite to the present value you have key in. Okay, so now we have established the data already and we know that the monthly payment. Then what will be the balance after two years? The first method is this. After two years, he has already made 24 payments because there are 12 months each year. So it will be 24 payments in two years. So you can use the amortization function built in the uh, calculator. So you want to use the amortization function, which is a yellow key above of the PV. Then you have to press second PV, means you want to do the amortization. Then you will see P1, means the first period. You have to key in one and enter and press the downward arrow key. So this will make P1 equal to one. And then after you press the downward arrow key, then you will see P2. Now you key in 24 and press enter and press the downward arrow key again. Then now it will give you the balance. Now, so what are we doing here? Basically, this amortization function allow you to specify the period length. So it's saying that now uh, after from period one to period 24, which is two years, uh, I have made several payment, then calculates the balance for me. So this is uh, the function of the amortization. Then you will see that the balance is 388k, $919. Another method is that you just don't have to use, don't have to use the amortization function. What you have to know is that after two years, there will be only 336 months left, right? Because after two years, you already make 24 payments. So only 28 years left. Each year is 12 months. So 336 months. So what you can do is to find out the present value after two years of this mortgage. And since you already calculated the payment per month, and also you know the interest rate, and you know the future value is zero, all you have to do is just change the N to 336 and recompute the PV, okay? So what you can do is just press 336N and then compute PV. It will give you the same number we obtained in method one.